provides full access to the LCARS computer net. It can be operated by both voice and keypad command. Authorization required. Command codes verified. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're taking a look at the GPD Win Mini. Now, this is GPD's latest offering in their mini PC lineup. It returns to the small form factor of the Win 1 and Win 2, but packs inside far more capable hardware. For size, we have the SNES 8-bit do gamepad right here. And as you can see, this device is quite compact, being only a little bit wider than this gamepad. I have the 7840U version here with 32 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes of SSD storage. I've bumped up the RAM clocks to 7,500 mega transfers per second, which can give you a slight edge in performance, albeit with a small cost of increased wattage. I've tested a bunch of these x86 handhelds over the last year, including the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, the Lenovo Legion Go, the AOK Zoe, the GPD Win 4, the GPD Win Max 2, and while the Z1 Extreme processors have similar specs, the Ally and the Go don't seem to get the performance that I've seen from the Win Mini at lower TDPs. Obviously the Steam Deck, which is arguably the least powered of all of those devices, is great at lower TDPs. On my device, I've left Windows behind, and I've made the switch to SteamOS. Now, I want to be very clear, the OS I've installed here is Nobara OS version 39. However, this installation was the most seamless out of all the devices I've tested. There's only one thing you'll need to add in order to get everything working. I'll get into that a little later. The first thing you notice about the GPD Win Mini when you open the lid is the keyboard. It's an upgrade from the Win 2, as it's far more firm, doesn't bow in the center, and is also backlit. The front-facing controls are crisp and snappy, very similar to the Win Max line. And the device also has analog triggers for those who are looking for them. Obviously, we have our stacked shoulder buttons here, a micro SD card slot, an Oculink port, a switch for mouse and keyboard control, and two USB-C ports, one with USB 4 functionality. Let's turn it on. Now, as you can see, I have a custom startup video, and I've used the Decky Loader and CSS Loader to make some modifications to Steam Big Picture Mode. Upon first installation, almost everything works right out of the box. The controls work, the trackpad works, the keyboard works, the audio works. All of the um, items and all of the hardware on the device work just great. In fact, so much so that even the menu button works. Works to bring up the regular menu, and then menu A brings up the quick settings menu, which is fantastic because it works almost exactly the way a regular Steam Deck works. Unfortunately, there's only one item that needs a little extra work to get working on the GPD Win Mini, and that's TDB control. Now, I've loaded Decky Loader onto my GPD Win Mini, and I would have anyway. So the first thing you'll need to do is load Decky Loader onto the GPD Win Mini running Nabara OS to get access to the tools you'll need. The second thing you'll need to get is a small plugin from a developer on the internet called Power Control. 
and this developer is named Mengmeet, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll post the link below to the plugin and to Decky Loader in case you have any questions about where to go to find them. As you can see, if I get into the quick settings menu and I scroll down to my Decky plugins, power control is loaded here. Now, what's interesting about this is that this is not necessarily where you're going to go in order to make modifications to your TDP. In fact, it's already built in to the regular performance menu for TDP control. Now, you'll see that right now we have our TDP set to 11. It can go all the way as far down as 3, and it can go all the way as far up as 30. Now, without the BIOS that allows the, the TDP to go up to 30 on this device, I don't think that this particular plugin is going to make that modification. However, it can adjust normal TDP limits to allow you to use only the amount of power that you need, rather than just letting the processor run at max TDP at all times. But with that plugin, you have basically finished the installation of Nabara OS on your GPD Win Mini. I, I hope this helps anyone out there who is thinking about making the switch and I hope it relieves some doubt about whether or not you'll be able to get all the things functioning correctly on the GPD Win Mini. I'm going to be coming out with a few more videos and I'm going to show some great performance that we're getting with the GPD Win Mini at low TDPs. So I hope that will also help those who are wondering about performance on SteamOS. Keep an eye out for those on the channel. They'll be up soon. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you on the next one.